you already know how we do it's scary hours and we still moving this time around we got the patron request from surazal they say i love your videos please keep up the work i have a question how come shiro's eyes don't count as mystic eyes didn't he nearly die in the fire from fate zero because i can see him having the mystic eyes of death perception by the way if you haven't already make sure you guys sign up for the patreon you get access to early content and priority on your request so this is a pretty easy one and if you guys are unfamiliar this is pretty much piggybacking off a video that we just covered where i went over the mystic eyes of death from both shikis and a part of this video i mentioned how the reason that they acquired these eyes is because they both had a near-death experience and the question is pretty much asking why didn't shiro have this if he had nearly the same thing and the answer is simple it's not his lane it's pretty much something that goes without saying but the difference difference between him and the Shikis is that they both have an affinity for death. The same way that Shiro has his own affinity, they have their own affinity as well. Now if Shiro was to obtain his own set of mystic eyes, they would be more so something that leans towards his character or the fact that he has his own reality marble. What's much more likely is that Shiro would have his own version of mystic eyes, one that only he can obtain because of the way that his character is set up so maybe he'd be the first person to have the mystic eyes of steel or the eyes of the wrought iron something that's still rainbow level but they align with his credentials a lot more the other issue with him having the mystic eyes of death is that flat out and many people have discussed this before he would die i know it's cool to try to give like sure all these abilities of these other characters because they seem super busted and people want to build this super megazord out of shiro shiro could not handle having the mystic eyes of death they could barely handle having the mystic eyes of death especially shiki tono i mean you should have seen tono in the far side routes this man started tripping like bad the same way that shiro had his own problems throughout the story and him barely surviving they were going through the exact same thing and shiro already has enough flaws on his own so to take on another person's flaws while still having those as his character it would just kill him off and we don't want that for him so leaning into the mystic eyes of steel idea this could be something that's more like kirisugu's time altar where instead of doing an actual projection on the world it gives him the leeway to cast these abilities with weaponry straightforward so for example the same way that he was able to use archer's arm in heaven's field and replicate heracles's sword and his own version of nine lives he will be able to do this without the arm without the drawbacks of the arm nearly about to take his life and he wouldn't have to go into his marble to do it but he does have to be quick and those few things alone are a complete game changer because given the circumstance where this works against the person that he's fighting against then he will be an enemy that would progressively get better the longer that the fight goes on because beyond him having this entire vault of all this weaponry that he's copied he can also copy the ability of the person that he's fighting to if they're not careful that's broken by itself and then for the eyes of the wrought iron i'm thinking more so a set of eyes that align with his ability to copy from everybody else so these eyes would have more so of a pillaging effect what exactly does that entail it really depends on how the eyes are constructed it could be a set of mystic eyes where he temporarily copies a mage craft that he's seen sometime in his life and of course all of this is way on down the line where he gets better as a magus no possible way that he could do this when he was young but considering when he's older maybe these eyes can copy the mystic eyes of somebody else that he's interacted with or maybe he's done enough studying on to replicate it again this is also temporarily something below rainbow level and of course it won't be the exact same thing it'll be exactly like his reality marble where it would just be his own version of it it won't be as strong but it will be useful enough to be something worth having and as far as shiro having the actual mystic eyes of death since that is how this all started it will completely break the foundation of the story because now not only does he have his projection his reality marble but these things also become unflawed because they can now see the points and the lines of death inside
out of anybody he fights. So he essentially will be one shotting body parts off of most of the people that he goes against unless they were immortal or unless they had a composition that was too complex for him to understand. A pretty boring outcome to be honest. It pretty much throws everything that makes his progression so entertaining out of the window because there's really no more stakes for him other than you know him going too far and then the eyes take him down which they would it would be exactly like him having archer's arm but infinitely worse and mind you shiro had an affinity for the arm it's his arm it's the arm of his future self and he still had a ridiculous amount of trouble carrying that so just imagine him trying to take on something that he doesn't have the affinity for and you'll start to see why this can't work but i would love to see him make his own mystic eyes i think he's very capable of doing that him being a person that was able to create a reality marble on his own merits alone should let you know that he's one of the few characters in the verse by law that can pull off the impossible so i feel like him making mystic eyes after that would honestly be a step down considering that reality marbles are viewed as something near true magic nothing unbelievable about that at all so how exactly would he go about doing this it's tough to say man he would be the first of his kind so he would have to go leaps and bounds to find a method in order for him to pull this off i could see him entering the tutelage of somebody like zelrich later on in his life he gets the referral from ren once he's proven himself enough this will likely be the time where he already has his reality marble and zelrich will take a step back and say huh okay this guy is really about that i think he is worth being under my wing and this works really good for us because it allows us to view into the way that Zelrich operates firsthand when we haven't been able to do so until that point and Zelrich himself was a student of Solomon the literal king of mage crowd so I'm sure the way his mind operates is on a completely different spectrum entirely I mean with that type of accolade it's only right that he passes off what he learned to somebody else and the same thing can go for Ren we could have an entire arc where they both learn things from Zelrich together. We can't forget Shiro's feats in Heaven's Field. He was able to project Zelrich's gem sword himself. You can't find a better showcase of proving his potential than that. I can see him going under Toko. Again, he can get that from Ren as well. We already know that she does have connections to her. If we're going off of how they were able to get the puppet for Heaven's Field, if, you know, they can actually find Toko because you know she's always on the run so definitely her and then at least one dead apostle namely it's probably gonna be van femme because based off of what happened in el malloy we know that he's in good standing with him and that would likely be the easiest one to get to especially without getting stabbed in the back for it and then at that point he can take everything that he learned from all three of them bring all of that information together and see what he comes up with 